The Indian Air Force has successfully tested the indigenously developed Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile from Tejas Limited Series Production 7 aircraft, and this successful integration and testing is significant, as the upcoming Tejas Mark 1A will come equipped with the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 from February 2024 onwards. The DRDO has also started the process to procure aerial target services, that will be used to conduct user cum development trials of the 160 km range Astra Mark II missile. The Greek Air Force operates both Rafale and Mirage 2000 aircraft, and it is closely monitoring the integration process of the Astra Mark I missile with the Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, as Greece is looking for a cost-effective BVR missile option to complement the expensive Meteor missiles. The integration of Astra Mark I missile on Rafale aircraft is also being closely observed by other Rafale operators, and also by Brazilian Air Force that operates the Gripen. The Ministry of Defense is holding talks with private sector companies to form a special purpose vehicle, that will see private sector companies will hold majority stake and take the lead in the development and manufacturing of advanced medium combat aircraft and the twin engine deck based fighter program. The special purpose vehicle model will enhance collaboration between the government and private sector, and will expedite decision making and reduce procedural delays in both the strategic programs. The Indian Navy is collaborating with the DRDO to develop a Navy-specific variant of the very short-range air defense system, that will be equipped on smaller and medium-sized warships, which will be an effective and relatively low-cost defense mechanism against a diverse array of aerial and surface threats. The Indian Army has already expressed a substantial requirement for the very short-range air defense system, and the Army variant is poised to gain clearance for production by Adani Defense later this year. Malaysia's Deputy Defence Minister has said, that the ongoing crisis between Russia and Ukraine has indirectly made an impact on the procurement of components and spare parts for the Su-30MKM aircraft operated by the Royal Malaysian Air Force, and that Malaysia is open to engage in discussions with Hindustan Aeronautics to procure necessary supplies. HAL has offered its services to the Royal Malaysian Air Force for servicing the Su-30 aircraft in India, and has also offered the Super Shukhoi upgrade package. The Indian Army has signed a contract with Lassen and Tubro for the procurement of unspecified number of 5-meter short-span bridges, that will bolster the Indian Army's capabilities on the Western Front. It will play a crucial role in strengthening the mobility of mechanized columns, enabling them to overcome obstacles swiftly during operations. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has won a significant contract from the Ministry of Defense for the supply of high mobility vehicles. The total contract value is 423 crore rupees, and it will be used as command post vehicles by the Indian Army. The Indian Navy has released a request for information for the procurement of counter drone system on board warships and shore based establishments. It must be able to detect mini and micro drones with radar cross section of 0.01 square meters, and should feature infrared sensor for detection and tracking with 360 degree coverage, as well as integral active radio frequency jammer. Oh, my God.